I was diagnosed with PCA uh, about 11 months ago now. In fact, I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's because that's how I, how I heard it. I thought it could be worse, it could be my wife. And that was how I saw it initially. I got mine because I went back. I was misdiagnosed initially. I was told I hadn't got uh, any real problem with my head at all. Maybe some loss of brain cell. I felt very alone because I thought if I'd had cancer, for example, there would be some path, some, you know, you get the specialist, you do the tests. And with, with, um, with uh, cancer, hope exists. And when you've got cancer, you are a brave battler against the disease. Um, when you've got Alzheimer's, you're an old fart. That's how society seems to see it. Uh, and uh, so I felt quite alone. Really given up driving because the, the way PCA, PCA affects your, how can I put it, your visual acuity, your, your grasp of the topology of things. You don't want to watch me deal with a revolving door, not a glass revolving door where the glass is coming towards you and away from you. you know, my topographical mapping of the situation gets somewhat strained. On the other hand, that leaves me entirely capable of still saying things like my topographical situation. <laughs> it, 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 PCA leaves you gobbing. And that means that you can conceal, at least in the early stages, all the other little problems that, that the disease brings. You can talk your way out of them. In, in, if you are glib, it's amazing what you can make people believe, and you can make them believe that you're quite healthy. Um, I'm very good at, at, when I'm talking to people, to, uh, sorry, very good at, at, at spotting the problem where the, uh, the problem's going to come up when I've forgotten their name, for example, or the word I'm looking for, but then you work out how to steer the sentence in such a way that you've got around that problem. It's, it's the end game that people dread, and that's what I'm scared of. I suspect that if we don't uh, defeat Alzheimer's, or at least bring it to heel, it will defeat us.